we present James Bolam and Rodney Buse as Terry Collier and Bob Ferris in Whatever Happened to the Likely Lads. Ian gave me a set of Id- lyrical ideas and I just went away and worked with it. I, was, I knew the general thrust of, of the programme and, and just sat at a piano and um, that's what one does. You sit at a piano and something happens. <laughs> we thought it made sense to to try and make a record of it as well because obviously it was a good springboard, the series, for for a single and as it happened it was and and it worked very well I mean it wasn't a massive hit but it, it, I don't even I'm not sure what position it got in the charts <laughs> but it, I think it got in the top 30 anyway and it got a hell of a lot of play so I think Tom McGuinness the guitarist from Manfred's played guitar on it as well so it had that element that we had on things like Mighty Quinn and things like that the sort of that strumming sort of feel and um Tony Rivers, the singer, was uh, a very clever session singer. He was able to layer his voice and and come up with really good harmonies very easily. And and that's what he came up with, and and it seemed perfect for the song at the time. It it didn't want to be clever instrumentally. It just wanted to have a feel-good, easy-going sort of lilt to it, I thought, because of the characters of the people involved. And and that was it. I, I was very aware of of the two characters when one was doing it. You can't imagine two other people playing those characters apart from Rodney and Bolam. And um, I was lucky to be involved in that. And luckily, I came up with the right thing at the right time. A visual of what was needed in my head, and aimed for that. And Sometimes you're lucky and you hit the target, and sometimes you don't. And I think I was lucky and I hit the target at that point. And I was very pleased and happy. I'm a fool and a fool 